Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the Dynamic Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with the latest backstage details coming out of the Beast in the East special that was on the WWE Network earlier this morning. Coming off the very low Raw ratings from last Monday night, WWE needed something positive to happen. And that did happen in the form of the Beast in the East event earlier this morning. Considering the time of the WWE Network event... Brock Lesnar, the Beast in the East, beginning at 5.30 a.m. this morning. It's believed that WWE was pleased with the reaction of the event from fans. It said WWE was also impressed with the social media presence the event had that early in the morning. Considering the fact that many people across the world were probably partying, watching fireworks, or staying up late hours before the event, this shows WWE definitely has a strong committed and dedicated WWE fan base to stay up at that hour of the night. As WWE was trending from the time the event started and even up to right now. After a poll was conducted, the WWE Universe was more in favor of the event. So for the most part, Beast in the East was a huge success for the company. The only negative things being said across the map was the match card order and the length of the main event, but it's believed that that was only minor. Keep in mind, this was also an event without the presence of WWE World Champion Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose. However, it sure did help with the star power of John Cena and Brock Lesnar. There is rumors that WWE could possibly showcase more live events on the WWE Network in the future. Many, many people were up and watching the WWE Network event, The Beast in the East, as it was going on live. While many others will watch it later on, WWE was satisfied with the turnout on the WWE Network, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, this was also a major positive for WWE coming off the low, low Raw ratings from Monday night. So it would appear for the time being that the WWE has bounced back. But once again, can the WWE keep this up in a positive manner? And I thought the, the, the event was pretty good. I thought it was solid. I definitely think it's worth a watch. Obviously, the two top matches of the night was Kevin Owens versus Finn Balor, Chris Jericho versus Neville. The Divas match was not bad. Even the tag team match, the main event, it wasn't all that great. It was okay, but yes, it, maybe it went a little too long. But definitely, if you have some free time, go check out this event. And I'm pleased that, and I'm happy to hear that the WWE had a good following, especially seeing that it was so early in the morning, especially being July 4th and all that. Subscribe with your comments.